Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're gonna learn about the switch statement in C++. So in the tutorial on if statement, you know, we have learned that using the if statement, we, we can compare the value of a variable using the comparison operators. Let's say in your program, you want to check whether the value of a variable equal to a bunch of values at that time what we can do is we can uh, use the if if and else if and we can form the condition using the equal to operator but in c++ we have something called switch so the switch statement allows a variable to be tested for equality against a list of values so each value is called a case and the variable being switched on is checked for each case. So I've written the syntax of the switch statement here. So as you guys can see here, to use this switch we need to write the keyword switch and here we need to write an expression. So this expression must evaluate to an integral or enumerated type. So whatever the value we're gonna have here or whatever the result of the expression that we're gonna have here will be compared to each and every value placed in this case statements so this case is a nothing but one of the values you know that we want to compare with the result of this expression or with the value stored in this variable we specify here so we can have as many case statements we want so this case statement is going to contain a value that will be compared to the value of this expression and if that value is matched then we're going to execute the statements in that particular case or in that particular block once we execute the statement that we wanted to execute then to come out of this switch statement we're going to use the break statement and um, we can have a default block you know which will be executed or the statements of a default block will be executed if none of our case matches the result of the expression or the value stored in the expression so if it's confusing don't worry you know while programming you know you guys can understand easily all right now i'm gonna delete all these things and we're gonna write a program so here just for the demonstration purpose we're gonna compare the grade of a user with the various values for example if the user has a grade a then we're gonna say okay you got the grade a you're excellent if he has the grade b then we're gonna say okay not bad like that all right first i'm gonna create a character variable so it's gonna be care and i'm gonna call it as input all right and next I'm gonna use a switch statement to use the switch statement we need to write the keyword switch and then a pair of parentheses so between these parentheses we need to write the expression or the variable that we want to compare with a bunch of other values so here in this case we want to compare the value of this input variable that's why I'm gonna write the input here so it can be an expression all right but make sure that when we use an expression you know the result of that expression must result in integral or enumerated type next we're gonna write a pair of curly braces and between these curly braces we need to write the case statements so these case statements are nothing but the value that we want to compare with this input so in this input variable may contain a value a b c or d so here what we're gonna do is you're gonna write case a I'm gonna write capital A and uh, since it is a character it should be written in single quotes then colon and then if you guys want you guys can form a code block by using this curly braces I use this because you know when I use this you know I can place the code neatly so here within this block I'm gonna write the statements that I want to execute so here we're gonna say C out we're gonna say excellent and next if you guys want to write any statements you guys can write but here we just want to write only this much and we need to write the break statement to come out of this switch after executing this case and then i'm going to copy this case and i'm going to paste it in the next line and two more times okay next i'm going to change this one to b 
and the message is gonna be very good and this is gonna be C and the message is gonna be good and this is gonna be D and the message is gonna be okay not bad all right so I'm gonna save this one right now and we're gonna initialize this input variable with a value of a so I'm gonna write capital A because you know we have used capital A here and I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run this so you guys can see it says excellent so that's because what happened here is you know this input variable was containing the value a so that value will be compared with the values which we have in these cases so first it is compared with this case a and at that time it matches and that's why the statements inside that block or the statements in the case a block will be executed excellent and then we have the break statement that's why the control comes out of this switch statement and uh, you know it just uh, executes the other statements so we're gonna have done grading all right before that let's include a new line so it's gonna be end line all right i'm gonna save this and run it again so now you guys can see excellent break statement and it comes out of this switch and continues to execute the other code the next thing is if we change this one to let's say c and run this you know it says good done grading and um, you know similarly if if the value is b or D then it's gonna execute the particular or the respective block so I'm gonna save this one the next thing I want to teach you is about the default block or the default case so in a switch statement we can have a default case so this default case or the statements that we're gonna write in this default case will be executed if the result of this expression or, or whatever the value we have in this variable will not match any of the values of these cases at that time the default block will be executed to write a default block we need to write the keyword default and then the colon then uh, you know this curly braces are optional but uh, I'm gonna write it because you know you know it allows me to organize the code properly and we're gonna say mm, don't know your grade all right i'm gonna save this one and here we're gonna change this one to let's say yuff now we have yuff you know and none of these case values are gonna match this value yuff and that's why this default block will be executed and it's gonna say don't know your grade i'm gonna save this one i'm gonna build and run this so it says don't know your grade all right and also I don't know whether you guys have noticed or not you know we are not using the break statement inside this default case if you guys want you can use that but th this is of no use because this break statement is used in a case just to come out of the switch statement after executing the statements of a particular case and since this default case is always written at the end you know after executing the statements of the default case you know the control will automatically come out of this switch statement so that's why we're not using the break statement or you know it's not necessary to use the break statement in the default case here if we didn't have this break statement what happens is you know and if we had the value a then this case a will be masked and uh, this C our statement will be executed and and then the other statements in this switch will be executed so it's gonna execute excellent then very good and then we have the break that's why it's gonna come out of this so just to demonstrate that I'm gonna build and run this so now you guys can see here we have excellent then very good and then done grading because of this break the control comes out of this switch statement so I'm gonna close this one and the next thing that I want you guys to teach is if you want to execute the same statement for different values of cases then you guys can combine them so here we have case a and we are executing this C out statement 
let me add a break before okay now I want to execute these statements for the case small a also so I can combine that so it's gonna be case and small a and again the colon and uh, you know these statements in this block will be executed if this input variable contains a capital A or a small a so you guys can combine that so I'm gonna change this one to small a you know just for the demonstration purpose and I'm gonna build and run this so now you guys can see we got excellent so similarly you guys can write as many case statements you want in your program and you guys can uh, you know group as many cases to execute the same code and the next thing is the data type of the constant expression or the data type of a case value must be same as the data type of the result of this expression in the switch so if this case value has character data type then this switch variable must have a character data type and if it is int it should be int so this is it guys this is about the switch statement in c thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have any doubt don't hesitate to ask us and like our facebook page at facebook.com learning lad and i'll see you in the next tutorial